Daddy, uh, thank you very much for allowing us to meet today. I know you're a very busy uh, doctor and uh, we, uh, we appreciate your time. So how did you come to know Davis and Shatley? So Davis and Shatley, first of all from the adverts, I, I mean uh, Davis and Shatley has a brand. If you think about what I, I you just know it's David and Shatley. Um, and then um, and then and then also from swimming pools. Because <laughs> uh, Davis and Shatley also has been involved a lot in swimming pool management. And then thirdly, some of your senior managers uh, were former schoolmates, although I was a real junior to them. But uh, I've always known a few people who worked for uh, Davis and Shatley. In fact, one of of them one of the engineers was actually my my classmate but I don't think he, I think he has since left so I, I've known Davis and Shatley from just the brand um, I've known Davis and Shatley from the people you know and uh, I used to be a swimmer when I was in school so I was also known Davis and Shatley so anything what I knew is Davis and Shatley <laughs> yes wow, wow. great yeah. great to hear that yeah. um, I'm so glad uh, so since the time you approached us uh, yes. to give you a water solution, water and energy solution, I call it water and energy solution because you needed water from uh, your, for your farm yes. from the from the underground, yes. and also you needed to power it with the, with the solar. Yeah. Uh, that uh, takes part of the energy. Yeah. So uh, how would you rate our information? The information you gave we gave you to lead you towards achieving this your your, your, your goal yeah. of getting water. I think uh, one of the things that I really appreciate is that uh, you 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 could explain your 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 um, what do I call them uh, products. your pro not even products your solutions you, you want to do this and I would say why uh, and you, you you say you need, you need 18 panels or whatever number they were I think they were 36, 36 yes. yes and and you could say because of X Y Z. Uh, or you need this kind of, uh, uh, we're buying this pump, why? And, and you can say it's this much horsepower, your output is this, um, this is how much water you need, so this is how much you need. And, and so um, what that meant to me is that, uh, of course it's expensive, but I know that, look, this is what I need. So forget about how much it's gonna cost. This is how much you need, this is scientific, this is what will work. So now figure out how you're going to afford it, you know, uh, because sometimes um, we, we look at the price and you just think, wow, this thing is so expensive or these guys are ripping me off. But, you know, when, when I know that this is the pump I need, these are the number of solar panels I need to pump this and this is how much what I'm going to get then I know you're not just coming because you've got sales targets. <laughs> you're coming because I have presented a problem and this is a solution and you can back up your decision. Why? Because you see, that's a problem a lot of people, they can't explain why, you know, uh, if you challenge them, you can't. So, so first of all, that gave me a lot of confidence. I think the other big reason was that uh, you remember you came here to the farm. Sure, the first time. I, I, I was very impressed because I thought, you know, this is a, a person who now has driven all the way, I think even got lost. <laughs> sure. uh, but now when we discuss, you know what you're discussing, you know what we're talking about, you know where the farm is, you know the context, the background, how far. Uh, I think that's also very, very, um, it's a very confident building uh, because I know that you are also not just doing desktop solutions. You've been here. Uh, you know how far from the main road, what kind of road it is and, and so on and so forth. Uh, so that, that was, that was a, a, real, a real confidence booster. But, but uh, um, so, so that, that I think largely is, is what it is. I think also Helen is, is as I told you, I, I did a borehole at home. I live in Kikuyu and this is Narumoro. And I, I saw the problems that boreholes can have. And so I thought now, if I'm doing a borehole in Narumoro, uh, there'll be problems at some point. And these are just machines. I absolutely need somebody who is reliable. I need a reliable partner who if I have a problem, I can take a phone call and, and, and call. And so uh, when I heard that you have a Nyeri presence, actually I think it was Nyeri and Nyuki, then I knew a bus. These are the people who I need. These are the people who are on the ground, not a Nairobi outfit, 
that will take forever to come. Uh, the fact that you have a local presence really also, actually for me that was also a, a very big thing, that, that you are here. Uh, yes. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, I'm so glad that you've mentioned one of our key uh, values. Yeah. As Davis and Shatley, we have th three main values. And that is uh, quality, we offer quality. Yeah. As we give you solution, we offer quality services and also quality products. Yeah. You know, a product can be quality, but with uh, no quality services. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we also, uh, the second um, value is integrity. Yeah. And by the fact that you knew David as being a man of integrity since yeah. he was young, and even today, yeah. he's one leader we look into. Yeah. That is what led you into coming to David's church because you were confident that your money is in safe hands. Yeah, yeah. And also, we look at Altiora Peto, we are seeking for higher things. Yeah. We, are, we look into improving into our. Our, our our products and our our, our services yeah. so dr Ari, I, I remember at some point after doing the work and everything was perfect we the yeah. bohol had been drilled yeah. we installed the pump we installed the solar modules uh, after a few months there were technical issues with your pump yeah. which you informed me yeah. and i believe we addressed it how would you how would you how would you rate uh, how we responded to the need at site. Now yeah. that the reason why you chose to work with David St. Shatliff, especially Nyeri Branch, because we were the local people, it was because of getting very fast services should there be a technical issue. Yeah. So how, in, the, in, a, in a scale of one to five, yeah. how would you rate us? I, I would uh, rate you a six. And, <laughs> and this is not... Uh, <laughs> this is... Uh, because, you see, uh, you know, one day the pump just stopped pumping, and uh, you know, people said, "Oh, you know, this place is windy." I said, "Look, wind doesn't take away UV. UV is not wind driven. There is sun. There is a problem with this pump." And, and and that's when we called you and said, "Helen, that pump, there is a problem with it." And uh, you know, you didn't dismiss us. You didn't, you know, you, you immediately responded and. Uh, um, got the engineers to come the engineers came had a look um, and uh, and confirmed and once it was confirmed it was not a back and forth in fact uh, i remember i just got a phone call they said yes your your, your pump is faulty and uh, we are gonna sort it out and the next thing i knew is that uh, there was a replacement i think even the replacement was not in stock and you and you and and i was sold sorry Actually, the exact type of pump is not available, but uh, since this is a responsibility, we are going to upgrade you. And you gave me a, a pump that was even more expensive than the one we had put. There was no top-up, there was no uh, back and forth, nothing. It was just done. And uh, I just said, wow, you know, I'm just so glad that uh, it was David and Shatliff. Because now I was thinking, now what would have happened? It would be back and forth. By that time, my money was almost finished because we spent so much money. <laughs> Uh, I did not want to go and take a loan, mm -hmm. so so I, I I'm just so glad. And I, I look and I say, you know, this the, I don't. I'm sure there are, but I don't think there are many companies that take that level of responsibility. And that really is that's how to win customer loyalty because uh, uh, I just knew there was a problem, and within two weeks there was a new pump. Everything was back to normal no questions asked no back and forth no nothing uh, you know uh, okay. yes and 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 also that you guys at the branch here made the decision it wasn't oh you know wait we are waiting for head office to you just made the decision said this thing is will be replaced and i think uh, to me that also shows that you people are empowered to take care of customers because that's the other problem if you can't make decisions then it takes very long and the people in head office don't know me they don't know you you know me <laughs> there is a relationship here so i think that also gave me a lot of confidence to know you know going forward i think i, I am confident that if there's ever a problem i just need to call you i don't need to escalate i don't know to who and who that, that will be sorted out and, and i think that is uh, you know, I wish I wish every company treated their customers that way. I'm, I'm so, we are so grateful, and I think um, this is um, uh, an entire representation of our company yeah. in whichever branch that uh, a customer decides to go and get our services or our equipment. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, the, my second last question will be: uh, uh, I also remember uh, early this year mm. you contacted me. Uh, we did a three meters uh, solar structure, which 
uh, the windy part of Narumoro did not, it was not so stable. Yeah. And we reported the, your, your issue, your concern, and we decided to reduce it to one meter at yeah. no cost. Yeah. How would you comment um, on this? So, so m maybe you're not yet being very modest. What happened is <laughs> the whole thing <laughs> fell <laughs> uh, and some panels broke. I mean, yeah. it, one day we had a solar structure in five minutes a wind came here and there was chaos mm -hmm. uh, and so now uh, what was i to do is just to call you and say helen <laughs> the whole thing is done it's finished it's broken it's in pieces mm -hmm. and uh, now i was thinking oh now this is uh, you know in contracts there's force majeure there's yeah. acts of god <laughs> yeah, <they're actual> god. <laughs> <laughs> and i thought hey, now this is how much is this thing gonna cost me mm -hmm. to do this and uh, so I was waiting for feedback and the feedback I got, oh, you know, uh, yeah, we've decided we'll redo it. And, and uh, I said, okay, that's, that's, that's good. At least we have a solution. So I waited for an invoice. I waited for an invoice. I waited for a cost. No one told me about cost. So I said, okay, I will not ask. <laughs> And uh, you guys came and did it and, and did not charge me a dime. And uh, uh, that, that just floored me. I said, that is really, uh, that, that is really taking responsibility. And uh, in fact, I was left wondering, do you do this for everybody or is, are you doing it just for, for me? <laughs> but I, I don't think... I, there's nothing special I've done, uh, really. I, I'm just a customer, um, and uh, I, I just find that is, you know, really just exceptional service. Uh, the the pump stopped working for no reason. That was replaced, brand new, everything, and there's a cost of removing the pump, the cost of putting it back. You guys didn't charge me anything. These panels all flew in different pieces, replaced them, replaced the broken panels at no cost. I don't think it can get better than that, really. And, and I must say thank you very much to Davis and Shatliff. And, and, I, and I, I, I hope that culture will never die because that's what I think has kept you for seven You're telling me just now, yes, you're celebrating seven years. Yes. I was asking you, you know, this company, have I have watched Davis and Shatliff grow. And obviously this is a secret to your growth. It's just uh, absolute loyalty to the customer. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a doctor and I, I tell my staff, we, we, the reason we come to work in the morning is for the patient. That's the, everything that we do, if it's not impacting and helping the patient, that's called waste of time. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, I see that in Davis and Shatley, for obviously you have kept your customers as the center of, of, of everything that you do. And I think that's really the secret. And I, I hope that will never end. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Tari. And maybe just to clarify, all our products are, uh, have warranty. Or, and uh, if a product fails and uh, the failure points towards uh, manufacturing fault or uh, uh, something of that sort, we replace the product under warranty. Like your pump was covered under uh, two years, is covered under two years warranty. But does not mean that even after a warranty, we don't attend to it. We attend to it and we communicate to the customer the, 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 the cost implication. But at the end of the day, we sort it and give you a solution. We take responsibility because they are our products. And secondly, even for the solar structure, yes, it was the act of God. And they're also insured. They're also covered under warranty. We have also warranty for, um, for services, for the labor. Uh, the product failed within six months mm. since we were here. So it was our responsibility to lift the pump 200 meters down yes. and get to replace the motor. That is, the motor is what failed. Yeah. You know, the part, yeah, and then the pump part was just okay. And since then, then we've never had any issue yeah. with your pump and it has been pumping so well. And even the solar structure, the, the one meter, it's looking even very yes. aesthetic. Very it's nice. so yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. And I'm so glad that you, you, you are, you're getting to, to do a good business out of it. Uh, I've, I've, I've also seen farmers. I, I appreciate the Mount uh, Kenya region. Uh, people are doing very large-scale farming and some of them have not yet embraced the solar pumping solution. Yes. And you see this pump, This your, your pump is a 7.5 kilowatt. Yes. means that it consumes a lot of power and if it meant uh, paying KPLC, yes. uh, the mains power, it would cost cost you so much yes. if your plant behind us here yeah. will need water as they need yeah. or you will be pumping water to serve them as they need yeah. so what informed you into just doing solar pumping uh, powering your pump with solar instantly 
uh, without maybe doing electric first and then getting to solar and what would you advise farmers outside there see one of the one of the one of the great blessings that god has given us as this nation is is being on the equator wow. and we have sun we have lots of sun and that is a resource that we just let go to waste uh, initially solar was just um, unaffordable it was too expensive but I think over time through government policies and interventions uh, the cost of solar and of course with manufacturing in China and so on the, the cost of panels has, has gradually come down and also the capacity within the country of people who can install panels has, has increased um, now when I talk to Kenya Power I, I, I applied for three phase uh, and got no response I actually had to contact somebody very, very senior in the Ministry of Energy to force those people to come here. So they came here on site, did the survey from the main, from the main road, because we have, we have single phase here, uh, and gave me a quote of 1.4 million. And I asked them, why is this so expensive? They said, oh, you know, you have to rewire everything, we have to put extra poles, and we have to put a transformer. So I asked why, the transformer is not my, why am I paying for, it's like buying everything, buying the wires, buying the poles, buying the transformer. I said, why am I buying this? This is not my, it's not my business. I'm not in the power sector. <laughs> I mean, I just want, uh, and then, uh, so that was the first shocker. Then I talked to people who have boreholes that are powered by Kenya Power and the kind of bills that they have. I have somebody who pays like a hundred thousand a month because now of the of the of the wattage of his of his pump uh, and then you and then the third thing is you've got uh, wild fluctuations so you have pumps that burn because you've got these huge uh, you know uh, surges. Yeah, the power surges so first of all from a cost point of view i thought am i going to bring power am i going to do a borehole <laughs> that, that is the amount of money you're asking me for the borehole mm -hmm. so i knew that and then i thought now if 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 I have to contact somebody senior for Kenya Power to come and give me a quote, when they, they need service, will they ever come? So there's a reliability issue. So I knew ah, that I'm not going to go that route. Uh, so, and I have had, uh, of course I've read about solar, I, I know about solar, and I had done a borehole at home which was solar powered. Simply, the same reason, I wanted three phase, they told me the transformer is too far, I have to buy a transformer. So I, I did, but that was for domestic use. So I knew this thing works. So uh, that to me, and, and I mean, I'm at the equator. This is Narumoro, the sun is up here. I thought, well, why, why would I be suffering? Let me just solarize this thing. Uh, and, uh, and now I, I look back and say, this is the best decision I've made. And, and I think for us as a country, I don't know why you would not go to solar. These solar panels are cheaper than that 1.4 that Kenya Power is asking me. So my only problem is that I can't pump at night. True. So, so that's why we build storage. And uh, the next thing we want to do now is wind, because we have a lot of wind here. So, and and uh, uh, okay, you guys don't do wind. I think you should also. That's a business opportunity. You guys need you need to go into wind, because then uh, I can power my borehole at night with wind, and during the day I I, I, I power it with with the, with the sun. So I, I think for every farmer or potential farmer listening to this, uh, I don't know where you would be in this country where there's not enough sun. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're in, you know, in the heights of Nyahururu during July. There's, there'll be a problem, but the, that just it, that's just a month. There's, there's no reason why uh, you would not. And it's one, you know, it's a capital investment. Then that's done. You don't have monthly bills. You don't have monthly. It's, it's, it's just a no-brainer, really. Wow. <laughs> yeah. How likely? Yes. And you to refer us uh, yeah. to promote us to your contacts, uh, your friends, your colleagues yeah, yeah. Uh, who may need a similar solution or uh, any product that Davis and Shatliff uh, deals with yeah. on a scale of one to five, or five being uh, most likely yeah. and uh, one being not likely. No, no, it's the same, Helen. I would say six. <laughs> Because I've, I've had, uh, I've, like I told you, I've done a borehole at home. Uh, and that time I was, that was my first project. I was very naive. Mm -hmm. um,
and uh, looking back there are many mistakes that we made through through in that project and uh, also looking back you are a bit more expensive but you're not a lot more expensive considering the kind of service i have gotten from you guys you're actually cheap you know considering how you are available in terms of customer uh, you know uh, service um, and, uh, and and you remember when I came you were very honest you said we don't drill sure. but uh, here call this person they drill for you I didn't know the man from Adam I, I knew him through you and he turned out to be as reliable as you are in fact I learned that actually he's a former David and Shatliff employee, maybe that's why you know those values have rubbed off on him and so he's he's continuing with that. He was a great guy, gave me, you know, we, 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 we I mean it, it was just a very pleasant experience. So, so I would say, you know, to anyone listening, um, and I'm not saying this because I'm not a shareholder in, in David and Shatliff, I'm just saying this from my own experience. Or, or let's say this, if I'm going to do another bohol, I'm going to use Davis and Shuttle. Sometimes you see big companies that think, oh, they are going to be expensive, you know. Uh, you're not any more, a lot more expensive than all the others. But the reliability and the after-sales service, those are non-monetary benefits that sometimes we forget. And that's where, that's what makes, the, the, that's the determinant of a good uh, outcome. Um, because you are putting a pump to serve you for years. Uh, uh, by any day, any day, and I, I must say, you know, well done, well done to you, well done to your team here, and well done to to the management and the owners, because obviously they've built a, <laughs> they've built a good company. I would say to Davis and Shatliff, cover the whole country. Uh, I think we need a strong partner as, as farmers, sure. uh, and and obviously the more business you have, you have scale, so you're able to bring services down and demystify this thing. There's nothing complicated about this. We have sun, let's use the sun. Yeah. We are uh, so glad and we really appreciate you. Our One of our major customers, Dr. Amos Kibata Kiseka.